Hello folks and welcome to Join to Christ Ministries. Today I would like to talk about what specific evidence do we have that Matthew, Mark, Luke and John are the authors of the Gospels in the New Testament. Strictly speaking the Gospels are anonymous but the uniform testimony of the early church was that Matthew, also known as Levi, one of the twelve disciples, was the author of the first gospel in the New Testament and that Mark, a companion of Peter, was the author of the gospel that we call Mark and that Luke, also known as Paul's beloved physician, was the author of both the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of Luke. There are no known competitors for these three Gospels. Now what about the Gospel of John? Well the testimony of a Christian writer named Papias dated about 125 AD refers to John the Apostle and John the Elder and it's not clear from the context whether he's talking about one person from two perspectives or two different people. But granted that exception the rest of the early testimony is unanimous in that it was John the Apostle, the son of Zebedee, who did write the gospel. So, now we've got to move on to discuss what Arrhenius wrote in about 180 AD. Arrhenius says, that Matthew had published his own gospel among the Hebrews in their own tongue while Peter and Paul were preaching the gospel in Rome and founding the church there. After their departure, Mark himself handed down to us his gospel preached by his teacher and that Luke set out in a book the gospel preached also by his teacher and that John the disciple who also leaned against the Lord's breast himself published his own gospel while he was living at Ephesus in Asia now the question is this would anyone have had a motivation to be achieved to be achieved by saying that these people wrote the Gospels when they actually didn't? Well, remember, these are unlikely characters. Mark and Luke weren't even among the twelve disciples. Matthew was, but as a former he had a tax collector. He would have been the most infamous character next to Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus. Now, contrast that with what happens when the fanciful apocryphal Gospels are written much later. They chose the names of well-known and exemplary figures to be their fictitious authors. Now, keep that there in mind for a second. That when the apocryphal Gospels are written, they chose the name of well-known and exemplary figures to be their fictitious authors. Like Philip, Peter, Mary, James. These names carried a lot more weight than the names of Matthew, Mark and Luke. So to answer the question, there would not have been any reason to attribute authorship to these less known respectful people if it weren't true. So today uh, I just went over... Uh, what specific evidence do we have that Matthew, Mark, Luke and John wrote their Gospels? And uh, like I say, when it comes to Matthew, Mark and Luke, there's no known competitors for these three Gospels. And if you can compare Matthew, Mark, Luke and John's Gospels to the fanciful apocryphal Gospels that were written much later, you know what I'm saying? They carried names that carried a lot more weight. You understand? Like Philip... Peter, Mary, James and so forth. But like I say, they had no specific reason to attribute these authors because they were 
less known respectful people if it weren't true. So that was today's uh, part and parcel of the apologetic course that will be done on Join to Christ Ministries channel. So folks, until next time, leave a comment, like, subscribe and praise the Lord Jesus Christ forevermore. I meditate and pray, preach and teach. Amen. Until next time, folks.